Hi guys, how's everybody doing today? I hope that everybody's doing great. Welcome back to my channel. Hello, my name is Carla. If you haven't been here before, welcome. And if you have, welcome back. Um, so today I have a fun video. I always say that. I have a fun video. <laughs> well, I think that all my videos are fun, so we're just gonna have another fun video so i'm going to be trying out a bunch of stuff from essence so i am filming a little blog so in that blog you guys are going to see all the mess that's behind me um and then i showed you guys a bunch of essence things also in that blog so if you want to go check it out because i'm not going to be showing everything here i'm just going to be showing you the stuff that i'm going to be trying out on my face so i have all of the new essence stuff all of the coffee stuff um a new mascara um a new like face mist so i have a, a bunch of like new essence things so i'm going to be trying them out i also have their new natural hydrating foundation and their tinted moisturizer or primer tinted primer so we're going to be trying those out i hope the lighting is not funky it looks kind of funky to me right now at this moment but i don't know hopefully it won't be as fun. Um, I thought that I would um, do my video up here just because I had just had surgery so um, sitting down for me is not the greatest. Standing up for me is not the greatest but standing is better than sitting for me at the moment. I'm still very um, bloated and my stomach is still very swollen from my surgery and my incision still kind of hurt so sitting down is not the best. Standing up is not the best either but it is what it is. Um, I just need to feel like a human being today because I haven't been feeling like a human being for like almost two weeks. So here we are. We're going to film a little video and then we're just going to be trying some essence stuff. So yeah, that's what we're going to do. So let's start by trying out. So from the coffee collection that Essence came out with, they came out with this new coffee to glow under eye energy treatment with caffeine i thought that sounded really really good so we're gonna give it a try and it looks just like a normal eye cream does it smell like coffee no not really it doesn't really have a scent so if you see me looking over here it's because that's where i have my mirror and it feels really nice though it's a very lightweight which is nice it's not sticky at all it feels really it feels really nice it feels very cooling i bet if i put it in my little refrigerator it will feel really nice okay so i'm gonna go in with this um essence prime studio poreless and skin blurring putty primer so i used this the other day and it's actually really good so i'm going to use it again this is what it looks like it was very nice and this is also new to their collection now just because i know that essence foundations don't have a lot of coverage and they're very very sheer i'm gonna go in with this other primer this is the essence my skin perfector tinted primer it says that it instant instant blur effect and i got mine a nude beige this primer looks like this or it's mine but it's coming out in like chunks like this which is so weird it's so thick oh i don't know how i feel about this now oh my god look at that i can see every single pore in my skin and now they're gone what this is so weird oh my god okay we're gonna go with that because it kind of looks good it doesn't look bad at all okay first up that primer doesn't really blend that well into your skin i had to go over it with my wet sponge in order to get it to move because it wasn't moving it was just sticking to one place and not really moving so right there i'm not really feeling that primer plus 
I, yeah. I feel like if it's acting funny already, it's going to act funny when you put your foundation on. I'm hoping that's not the case, but I have a feeling that's what's going to happen. So this is a no. I don't like that. I don't like it one little bit. So now we are going to go in with the foundation. And this is the Pretty Natural Hydrating Foundation with Hyaluron and Aloe Vera. And I got it in natural suede. I'm not a fan of like brushes for foundation, but yeah. Okay, the color is not terrible. So the color is not terrible. The coverage is very minimal. It's a very lightweight um, foundation. I don't like, I don't love the way that it feels, but I have a feeling that it's because of that other primer. I don't think that it's the foundation's fault, but we're already here and we're gonna go with it. It's the Wet n Wild Incognito Concealer have an essence color correcting powder and I also have a banana powder I'm gonna use both of them to set my face uh, just because the essence powder was so light I'm gonna go in with the banana powder to set my under eyes I'm gonna go in with the Essence Color Correcting Powder and I'm gonna set the rest of my face. Now for bronzer, I have this Essence Little Contour Palette. I'm going to use the bronzer in here to bronze up my skin. And I do like this little kit, it's very pretty. Gives my skin a nice color. It's just really nice. It's very pigmented. I really do like it. Um, so we have that. Now for blush, Essence does have a lot of really nice blushes, but I kind of want to try this one that came in the little Christmas um, Admin calendar. So it's this really pretty color, and this one is in Be Merry and Get the Jingle Glow <laughs> with this rosy luminous blush. So I guess it doesn't have like a name name. But it's so pretty. Look at it. So, but all of the Essence blushes that I have tried, they're all so beautiful. Now for highlight, I have the Coffee um, Highlighter Beans. So that's what we're going to use. It's called Meant to Bean Together. <laughs> Super cute. I love the packaging, even though it is a little bulky, but it's kind of small, so it's okay. And we're going to see if this smells like coffee. Oh my god, it smells just like coffee. It's like smelling coffee beans. Oh my gosh, they look like coffee beans too. So cute. So, so cute. And then to go with that, I have the brush, and this is the Coffee to Glow scented highlighter brush so it's supposed to smell like coffee even though the other day when I took it out it didn't it has a sweet scent I would say it smells like coffee after you put cream and sugar in it but it doesn't smell like like coffee coffee like bees do but it is scented and it does smell good and it's a beautiful uh, brush too it's so pretty it looks very high-end very very pretty so we're going to apply highlight. Ooh. Okay. It's a very, very subtle highlight. It's not like in your face blind highlight, but it's very pretty. I like it. And it's not too um, dark. I was kind of scared because the coffee looks kind of dark, but it's actually not that dark. 
and I like the brush. The brush is very nice. It's very soft. Now we're going to go with the eyes. I'm going to use this little eyeshadow primer that came in the Christmas um, thing. I'm just going to take it on my finger. It's kind of creamy. Just press it on my eyes. Now we're going to go in with the um, Coffee to Glow eyeshadow palette. And we're gonna create some we're gonna create something simple. I'm not going anywhere. I'm still recovering from surgery, so I'm just home. I'm not gonna be doing anything <laughs> except sitting in my sofa. So. Okay, so first off, I'm just gonna take this color right here and I'm just going to set the primer because it feels a little sticky. So I'm just gonna set it. Now I'm just going to take this color right here and I'm going to put that on the crease. I'm just going to use the same brush. I'm just going to add a little bit more deep to it and I'm just going to go with this one right here. And now I'm going to go on with that super cool, like, swirly one. And I'm going to add that to my lid. I'm going to go in with just the brush first, which did nothing. So let's try our finger. Which it added more than the brush did. It's a very pretty color. Let's try wetting the brush and see if I get more pigment that way. So I'm just gonna stick to my finger. But now that I got that shade wet, now it doesn't want to work the same. It's weird. That's the first time that that happens to me where a shade doesn't want to work after it's wet. So it's not terrible, but it's not my favorite either. And then this is how the shade got after putting my finger and my brush in there. Not the best. That was not the best shadow, uh, shade. I'm going to go to this one now and see if I can add some shine. I'm going to take it on my finger. Oh yeah, that one, so much better. Wow. Yeah. That one is so much better. Here's that shade swatched. It's this one right here. Very pretty. Let's swatch the other shade. They all feel different. So that one also looks very pretty. And it's very soft to the touch. I want to touch this clear one and see. I'm not a fan of these clear balm thingies. It doesn't do anything, really. Except it makes my skin kind of sticky. Mm -mm. Um... It's a good palette. The mattes are really good, and then this shade and that shade are really good. This swirly shade, not the best. Not my favorite. But it's a cute palette. It's very small, too, for travel. It's very nice if you like those types of colors. I would recommend it, because the mattes are really good, and then the two um, shimmery shades are also very good. So there's more hits than misses. So... And I think it's only like $6.99, so it's not expensive at all, and it's actually pretty good, pretty decent. The Advent Calendar did come with a pencil, but this is black, 
and I want something more um, light so I'm gonna go with brown so I'm gonna use this Too Faced Killer Liner um, pencil and this one is an Espresso I believe Killer Espresso and I'm also gonna go in with an eyeliner and I'm gonna go in with the Kat Von D um, eyeliner and this is in Mad Max Brown um, I was trying to keep it all Essence, but I don't have any Essence pencils at the moment. I have to go buy some, but they are all very good. I use them all the time. They're very good. <laughs> and I'm not going anywhere, so for eyebrows, I'm just going to use the Essence Make Me Brow in Soft Brownie Brows. I've used this stuff for years. I love it so much. Um, I do kind of want to get a darker shade, just because I think this one's a little light. But it's still one of my favorite. Okay, we're almost done. And now, I'm going to add a little bit of this highlight in my inner corner and my brown the highlight that came in the advent calendar. But again, all of the highlights that I've tried from Essence are really good my lashes and for lashes I have I have this one this is the essence double trouble mascara in extra black and I'm also gonna try that little um, eyelash curler that came in the advent calendar as well That, that was really nice. It was actually very gentle and it did lift my, my lashes a little bit. <laughs> it's actually very, very gentle, so that's why I like this. Okay, and this is what the wand looks like. It has shorter, I don't know if you guys can see, it has shorter bristles on one side and then like really big ones on the other. So let's see. Okay, guys, so I went ahead and I changed my clothes. I'm going to go downstairs and sit down and get some tea because I'm tired and I'm starving. And filming <laughs> took a lot out of me more than I thought it was going to. But here is how the mascara looks. Um, I'm not going to lie to you. It took me a minute to build it up. Um, and it's still... I mean, they look good, but not my favorite. It's not my favorite Essence mascara. I feel like Essence has better mascaras out there. So that one is definitely not one of my favorites, um, but it did the job. It, I had to be very patient with it, and I had to build it up. So that's that. <laughs> um, let's go ahead and use this little baby right here. This is the Coffee to Glow Coffee Lip Scrub. Like I said, my lips need it because my lips are dry. So let's use this up. Oh, it has some nice exfoliate in there. I don't really... It has a very faint coffee scent. I have to say, the scrubs are nice though. And it gets really, really scrubby in there. Okay, that was actually really nice. That was very, very nice. Um, I did get taste of coffee and also, um, I think it's real coffee in there. Coffee powder and sugar. Yeah, I could definitely taste it. It doesn't really smell like, it doesn't really smell too much like coffee, but I can definitely taste it. That was nice. That was a nice experience. Um, now I'm going to go in, I kind of want to try this plumping thing, let's see if it works. So this is the What The Fake Extreme Plumping Lip Filler, and this is in Chili Extract, and it's in this pretty like reddish color. Let's try it out. It does kind of uh, smell like chili. I can feel the mint already coming on. Your lips a nice shine. I like the shine. I can already start to feel the the mint. 
it doesn't hurt as of right now so let's see these are my lips before <laughs> i'm gonna give it a minute. okay you guys so i waited over 10 minutes it's still burning like it went from like feeling kind of like minty on your lips to like actually burning it didn't it doesn't hurt as bad as the Too Faced ones but it's the same sensation as the Too Faced ones if you know what sensation if you've tried them you know what I mean um but yeah did it seem like it worked I think it did my lips look a little plumper and I like the color I like the fact that the color stayed so I'm gonna take this off and we are going to try the purple one because that's the one that I'm excited for so yeah my lips still hurt <laughs> they still burn and they're very very red do you guys see that and then the top of my lip here hurts so if you don't like extreme limp lip plumpers i don't recommend this but if you do then yeah i'll probably still use it because i don't mind the pain but um yeah if you can't stand that type of pain then definitely don't i don't recommend that for you but let's try this lip gloss. It's so pretty. Okay, so this is the Essence Extreme Shine Volume Lip Gloss. And this is in Purple Rain. It's so pretty. It smells really good and tastes really good. <laughs> um, but yeah, that is everything. Um, the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to set my face with the Hello Good Stuff 3-in-1 um, Face Mints. This is Hydrate, Fix, and Refresh with Watermelon Extract. So I'm going to go and do that. Oh, it smells really good. It smells just like watermelon. Um, the mist is a little aggressive, but it's really nice. It's like even on the face so it's very nice and it smells good and it definitely feels hydrating wow that feels really nice that was a very nice spray actually i like that my hair is looking a little white but i don't know if it's from the powder or if it's because i need to redo my hair color i already see my little white hairs coming out <laughs> so i definitely um, I'm in need of painting my hair or coloring my hair and my hair is going through something it feels so dry right now even though I put oil and conditioner and stuff it still feels a little dry so it's definitely going through something but yeah so this is the look using only essence and I love Essence, you guys. I love this brand. And this brand is really good. And it's very inexpensive. Um, like, this little eyeshadow palette is like $6.99. The lip glosses, I think, are like either $2.99 or $3.99. Like, everything is very, very inexpensive. And it's such a good brand. Don't sleep on it. If you guys haven't tried it, try it. The eyeshadows, I have to say, they're a hit or miss. Sometimes they're really good. Sometimes they're not that great. But everything else that I've tried from this brand is so good. Blushes, highlight, bronzers, um, mascaras, lip products, eyebrow products, like everything else, pencils, eyeliners, they're all so good. So don't sleep on this brand because it's very inexpensive. Everything is super cute. Um, the only thing is that sometimes um, they have stuff in their website that they don't carry in store. So sometimes I'll find things at Ulta that they don't have um, in their website or vice versa. Sometimes I find things in their website that I don't find in Ulta. Um, sometimes Ulta carries things online, but they don't carry it in their stores. Or at least that happens here in Florida. I don't know in other Ultas. Um... But yeah, even if you buy stuff from their store, it's very inexpensive because shipping, it's free shipping after $20. So, and everything is so inexpensive. So you can grab so much stuff 
I'm telling you, like, don't sleep on this brand. And if you can still get your hands on that advent calendar online and their website, like, do it. Because it was such a good advent calendar. But, yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. <laughs> don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Um, don't forget to like this video. It helps me out. And I will catch you guys on my next one. Bye.